king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop, and that's what's bothering me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you should definitely subscribe. I upload every other day college, lifestyle, and now Disney videos because I got accepted into the Disney College Program Switch the spring 2019. Today's video is going to be about Disney. I'm so excited to start vlogging my college program and also the Disney videos that I make leading up to it are just going to be like about the program, what's going to be my program, like just different fun Disney College Program videos. Today is going to be a video where I tell you guys a little bit about the Disney College program and a little bit about what I'm doing in the Disney College program because this is going to be my role reveal video. So once I explain what the Disney College program is, then the role part will make sense. So a little background on my interest in the Disney College program. Freshman year of high school, I realized that I like I kind of found my passion in Disney and I just realized that I wanted to work for Disney long term, but I didn't really know the, the logistics of getting to that point and I didn't really know what, like where the starting point was. And then somebody brought up the Disney College program to me. I think it was like in church or something, one of the one of my dance teachers had done it, so they had just talked to me about it. And at first I thought that it was the legit college, like I was like, okay, if you go to a Disney college, like of course I wanna do that, that's so cool. But then I found out that it was a college program and not like a college. I think a lot of people think that at first, they think that like, oh, you're going to college at Disney World, but it's not completely like that. So what the Disney College program is, for a period of time, so I'm doing mine for like four months, but some people do it for six months or even up to eight months. We moved down to Disney. You can live in one of four complexes, Vista Way, Patterson Court, Chatham Square, or the Commons. The statistics of it at this point are probably about 50,000 people apply and 4,000 people get accepted. So there's about 4,000 people that move down to Disney World, stay in the apartment complexes. They don't provide food, that's a misconception. So gotta do my own grocery shopping. So mom's gonna help me out with that because I've never really had to do that before. I will be working at Disney. So that varies from like 30 to 50. 50 hours a week it can sometimes be more than that I've heard stories of people like working more than that and you can take classes or seminars depending on what exactly you want out of your program and what you have time for because of your schedule at work. The classes that I'm thinking about taking, there's a communications class, so I'm thinking about taking that, and you take it with some of the leaders at Disney. And then there's also seminars that you can take. I think the seminars are eight weeks long and the classes you can get actual college credit for. So a lot of people are asking me like, am I dropping out of Liberty? Am I like not going back to college? So what I'm planning on doing as of right now is my program lasts, I'm spring and there's also spring advantage. So spring goes from January to May and Spring Advantage goes from January to like August, depending on when your arrival and departure dates are. My plan is I can take a leave of absence from Liberty. So that just means that I'm still a Liberty student, but I'm not taking classes with them. They, they give you like up a, to a semester to do that. What my plan is as of right now is to work from January to May. But how the college program works is it's pretty easy to extend depending on what role you're in through the summer. So if I really like my job and I'm not too homesick and don't wanna like come home for the summer, I'm just gonna extend into the summer and then work there June, July, and August. So that is my plan as of right now. I'm hoping to go back to school in the fall. So the benefits of doing this program, for me, I really want to work for Disney long term. So the benefits of doing the college program is that any professional internship after college, it looks really good on your resume to have, to have done the college program in order to get other internships with Disney. It's not required, but it's just kind of like you already have a previous experience working with them and you already like kind of know the company and stuff like that. And you just like have kind of an entrance into the company with that under your belt. The benefits that go for other students like that aren't necessarily wanting to work for Disney is Disney just looks so good on your resume. Saying that you were trained by professionals at Disney, saying that you like worked for such a huge worldwide company, it just looks really good on your resume no matter what and the hospitality that they train you in and just like all that kind of stuff, it looks really, really good on a resume. So that's why most people do it even if they aren't trying to work for Disney long term. But for me, it's just perfect because it just gives me like my foot into the company. So that is why I wanted to do the college program. And I'm also just very passionate about Disney. So the idea of living in Disney World for four months is literally like my dream. Like that's my actual dream. A lot of people ask about the perks and like what 
comes with that. I get free admission into all the parks at all times. I think sometimes there's block out dates, but for the most part I get into the parks for free, so that includes like any of the water parks, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. Basically, it's just like I get to go to the parks anytime that I'm not working. I get like a certain discount on hotels, on food, on merchandise. I do get paid, so I get about $10 an hour working the role that I'm working. Overall, it's just like kind of like a Disney nerd's dream. Like people that are obsessed with Disney, it's literally like our dream to do, be able to do that. For Universal, a lot of my friends have been asking me about Universal because a lot of people like Universal like better than Disney or whatever. I'm obsessed with Disney, so obviously I will be going to Disney a lot more and since I can have it for free, but I am gonna be purchasing the Universal Season Pass. I think that at a certain point I can get the Florida Residency. I don't know, let me know down below if you're on your college program and you have a Universal Season Pass, let me know like how that works. But I think that I'm probably gonna get it with the Florida resident discount. So once I'm there for a little bit, then I can get the Florida resident discount for my Universal Season Pass. But I am planning on getting a Universal Season Pass because I'm also a Harry Potter nerd. So I really want to go to Harry Potter World a lot. It is a little bit scary not knowing what to expect kind of with Liberty and like college in general. It's just like I've been there for a year so I know what to expect and I have an amazing haul this year. If you haven't seen my video like telling my friends and family that I got into the program video, you should definitely go watch it. It just shows how many really really good friends I have in college right now so it's gonna be hard to leave that behind. Not only just for like a fun experience or like a resume booster but just because like this is the first step in like honestly the rest of my life because this is what I want to do long term for my career and so it's just like really really important for me and it was cool to see how everybody was so supportive of that so thank you so much for everybody that commented like congratulations or DM'd me or reached out to me um, I think that everybody kind of knew how obsessed I am with Disney because like I've been every time I meet someone that's one of the first things I tell people about myself so I think everybody knew how excited I was to get in I applied for fall 2018 but I didn't get in but honestly like God worked that one out so well because I wouldn't have met anybody on my haul if I had gone to the fall 2018 Disney College program and a lot of the people that I'm meeting for spring 2019, I wouldn't have met them if I would have gotten in for fall 2018. So it's just like cool to see how everything was worked out and like how I'm really glad that I didn't get in for this season, but I'm, I think that this is gonna be honestly the most perfect time to do it. So that's a little bit about the college program. It's not a college, I'm not a princess. Everybody always asks me, they're like, oh, so which princess are you? Cause I think that they think that if you work at Disney, you have to be a princess, which is funny. I'm not a character. So that's another question that I get asked a lot. I'm gonna explain all this cause I'm gonna do a Disney college program like the DCP tag but so basically I really wanted to get front desk that was like my dream role to get at Disney but then in my phone interview also for those of you guys asking about my phone interview it was 40 minutes long so it's a very very long phone interview so I kind of had a good feeling about it so after the phone interview I wasn't really nervous about not getting in I was like really hopeful that I would because I felt like it went really well but in my phone interview she really didn't ask me any questions about front desk so I kind of knew I wasn't gonna get that she asked me about quick service food and beverage merchandise photo pass cedar and character performer and at that point I kind of knew that I wasn't gonna do auditions for character performer she encouraged me to just because she knew how much how fun the character performer auditions were she was like oh like it'll be a fun experience like if you want to do that you should I didn't really want to at that point because I kind of knew that I didn't want to be a character performer out of those I really really wanted to get cedar that was like my number one because I really wanted to work at one of the nicer restaurants at Disney with that being said I did get the role of cedar that was my top role like from the roles that she interviewed me about I was so so excited I'll make a video talking about the application process and how the application process works and all that stuff but I put high interest for like ev a lot of things I would have gone and worked for Disney pretty much any of the roles that I put high interest in. So if I would have got quick service or merchandise, I would have still like gone and been really excited about it. So those were both high interest. I really wanted to do Cedar. So I don't know where I'm gonna be located at yet. They don't tell you that until I think a month before you go on your program. But I don't know where I'm gonna be. I'm hoping that I either get a restaurant in the Grand Floridian. I really wanna get a 1900 Park Fair. That would be really fun. Or anything in Hollywood Studios. I think like the sci-fi theater, sci-fi dining theater would be cool. I can't think of a BR guest oh my gosh that would be like my dream I am honestly happy with anything I'm just excited that I got cedar so that's like hostess basically so that is basically what I'm gonna be doing on my college program at Disney I hope you guys like this video I hope that this clarified some things if you have any more questions leave them down below and I can answer them I'm gonna do a DCP tag that's gonna be my next Disney video that comes out so I'm really oh my gosh like I can't even explain to you guys I'm so excited to go to Disney and like move to Orlando Ugh. leave me down below requests of what you want me to do I love traveling so I'm definitely gonna be going to like Miami Tampa Naples 
clear water like just all the stuff around there I'm probably also going to I have friends that live in California so I'm probably gonna go to Disneyland a few times maybe just once because that's a little extra and also my grandma she works on military bases and she's gonna be stationed in Belgium, which is in between France and the Netherlands. And so I really wanna do Disneyland Paris while I'm on my program, because I get in for free. Let me know what you guys wanna see or what you would be interested in seeing from me during my college program, even like Orlando stuff, I would be totally down to do. I'd say that Harry Potter's like at least half of how much I am obsessed with Disney, because I love Harry Potter. So if you want anything that has to do with that, also let me know down below if you're not subscribed already definitely subscribe so much fun videos are coming so definitely subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye